guys and welcome to Monster Grow! Today we're going to do something different. Today, we're going to celebrate Easter Sunday and make an Easter Bunny cake. This is a family tradition that I share with Groovy Grover and his mom and we hope you enjoy it. So in the next example, we're going to show you how to take your two round cakes and arrange them to make your bunny head. Take one of the cakes and you're going to cut an hourglass shape. This will give you both your ears and your bow tie. And you cut it like this. Well, Maybe you'll cut it a little straighter than I did. And you arrange it like this. Now the one cake gives you your face and the other cake gives you your bow tie right here and your two ears. And you could fill in the gaps with frosting of your choice. In this case, we're going to use whip frosting because it seals in everything really nice. We're going to add coconut to make it a really furry bunny. And some M&Ms for the decorations such as eyes and polka dots on the tie. And a little bit of pink sugar. So first of all, take your frosting and cover your entire bunny. You don't have to be perfect with it if you're going to use the coconut because the coconut will seal up a lot of problems and a lot of, a lot of gaps. Just spread it out and there's plenty of frosting inside the can. So just put it on really, you know, just, just let it go. The more you eat out of the can, the less you'll have for your bunny, so try to avoid that. Give it a real good coating, and it will start really looking good. You can use food coloring inside the frosting to change the color of the bow tie. In this case, we're just going to have a white tie that matches the white rabbit. And I'm going to put M&Ms for polka dots on it. Now we're going to go off and add, we're going to make this a furry rabbit. And really, really make a really cool looking Easter bunny. Depending on whether you're a real coconut lover or not is really all your choice of how much coconut you really want to pile on this thing. Now, if I would have had a separate now, we're going to take the sugar crystals, pink ones, and make the bunny ear pinkness. You can also use cocoa or Nestle's Quick. You can do the cheeks too. Now we're going to go off and use our M&Ms and get our design. And voila, there you go. So this is pretty well complete, but I decided I wanted to go off and get some whiskers. So I'm going to take a caramel and make it in a string and make me some eyebrows and some whiskers. You can also do this with colored licorice. The mouth can be made with licorice. The whiskers can be used with black licorice. Whatever colors you want. It's your rabbit. You can't get it wrong.
Okay, so this is a the the bunny cakes are a family tradition. Yes, it is. And so, how long have we been making them Since together? Since you were one year old. Since you were one. So for fifty-one years. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. It's actually from two Calhoun graduates. It's actually before. Uh, you figured that April, out? see, you turned uh, I didn't graduate from June, <clears throat> a couple of, you were a couple of months shy of being one year old. But you are in the picture. Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching us make the Easter bunny cake. It's a family tradition that's been around for over 50 years. You too can start your own traditions with your friends and your families. And I hope you have a many more. So until next time, stay groovy and happy Easter. <laughs>